Hey out there YouTube, it's Doc, and we're here with uh, Way of the Samurai 3, Part 4. And um, in the previous one, uh, we talked to Shinosuke a whole lot, and uh, went out and did a task for uh, for him in the Fujimori clan. And um, so now we're uh, continuing along uh, with the rest of the story here. I have traveled to uh, Takatane Village to go and put the money that he gave me in uh, the safe. Because uh, I don't know exactly how the whole theft thing works, but it happens from time to time. Uh, someone will bump into you and it'll say, you lost X amount of yen. Oh, which is never good, and, and with having this much, this much money on hand, uh, you know, I definitely want to make sure that, that I can hold on to that. And so since it's nighttime, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleep and uh, pass the day, or pass the rest of the night by, uh, so I can do the rest of this in the morning, or during the day anyway. <clears throat> uh, so I, I'm forget exactly where I am at, at the moment as far as the story at this point. I'm pretty sure I dropped a sword that I picked up earlier because I, I think I've already got that one in my sword safe. Yeah, okay, we gotta go talk to the kid again right now for another little scene. And uh, this kid can be a little annoying from time to time, I'm not gonna lie. He's a little bit of a brat, but uh, he definitely plays a role in the story. Uh, mostly to kind of move things along and reveal information he shouldn't about the Sakurai clan. So I'll have a quick conversation with him right now and tell him uh, you're pretty good and then it begins a scene. You're the only one that will help me practice. No one else will, just because I'm a little kid. Wait until you see it! I have a very cool sword! Oh yeah! Let me show you something! But you have to promise to keep it a secret! Ta-da! What do you think? Look at this family crest! This must be pretty valuable! This is called a dagger. Are you surprised? Oh, I think I said too much. Uh oh. Remember, you can't tell anyone I have this. Especially not Osei. So, what he showed there was a dagger with the uh, family crest of a cherry blossom on it. Uh, which, as of right now, uh, doesn't really mean a whole lot. But um, but as you progress uh, through the next few scenes and the next few conversations, uh, it'll start to become clear exactly what uh, significance that has. So I went and pulled the money out of the safe, and um, I'm going to go see the blacksmith and get him to uh, work on the sword that I'm currently using. Uh, this is a sword that I just picked up off of some random enemy. It's not special in any particular way, except that I've already upgraded it about three or four times. Uh, so this is the blacksmith's uh, shop in this little cave here. And I want to say there's actually two of them, but I haven't found the other blacksmith, because there's a Dojima older and a Dojima younger. And this is the younger version. I told him I want to work on this sword and that I want to increase the attack. So this is the last upgrade that I can technically do for it. I think he will upgrade it five more times beyond its quality limit, but it costs four times as much for that for those upgrades. So it jumps from 500 to 2,000, uh, which is a pretty steep jump, and I don't know that I've ever had 2,000 yen all at one time. So he's going to work on the sword here, and I think this little sword working on animation is pretty funny. Uh, 
uh, and it'll increase the attack further uh, up to plus eight, giving me a total of 42, I believe that said. Uh, so the sword was at 30 something, and, and now we're at 42. Uh, it's a pretty substantial jump, and it'll kill low low level enemies even faster. Maybe one or two slashes, and they're done. Um, which really helps out a lot. So we'll go put the rest of the money in the bank. He didn't have anything else that I was really crazy about buying. And from the blacksmith, you can also use uh, parts that you've collected. Um, off of dead enemies or purchased from from merchants or from the blacksmith himself to create new weapons uh, which the new weapon process uh, I've, I've created a few but they've all either been good and powerful like I wanted as far as attack and defense but weighed too much so the attacks were really slow which is no good uh, you want attacks attack speed to be at its maximum at all times or uh, I had good attack speed, but no, no power. So I typically just use the weapons that I find and just upgrade them as I as I need them to be upgraded. Um, so we're back here at Castle of Mana, and we'll go talk to uh, Shinosuke again and begin another scene. Hey, what's with the box? What is that? What is it? It just contains some medicine. I'm not talking about the contents, I'm talking about the markings on it. Isn't that the family crest of the Sakurai clan? <clears throat> <laughs> I know about you. You used to be one of the three swords of the Sakurai clan, if I remember correctly. I always thought it strange that a Sakurai loyalist would serve the Fujimori clan. That's enough talk of the past. My allegiance now lies with our lord. This box has no real meaning. Quit it with your petty suspicions. Petty suspicions? We'll see about that. I'm on to you and your ulterior motives. And on what do you base your accusations? Do you have any proof? Unless you have proof, don't bother me with your accusations. I'm busy. <laughs> Every rat eventually gets trapped. What do you want? It looks like you've got something on your mind. What is it? Useless. Every last one of you. I know you. No, I must be mistaken. So in that scene we saw Shinosuke carrying a box with the, uh, with the cherry blossom family crest on it as well. Um, and the guy that called him out on it uh, was named Kyrie, I think is how it's pronounced. And he is the uh, leader of uh, Fujimori clan's ninja squad, or whatever, I guess. Uh, they all carry ninja type swords, uh, which are another one of my favorite uh, stances on the swords. I prefer the one-handed or the ninja stance. Uh, they seem to have the, the fastest right. attacks and uh, the, the attack variety is, is pretty solid. <clears throat> so we had the chance to call uh, Shinosuke out on that being um, the crest and that you've seen it before because that's the same symbol that was on the dagger that the kid showed earlier. Uh, but chose instead to uh, keep quiet about it and kind of uh, kind of get his back a little bit there and that'll that'll come into play in the next conversation uh, which won't be had in this particular video uh, right now I'm, I'm just kind of fast traveling all over the place trying to get time to pass a little bit 
I uh, think I go here and actually uh, sleep some of the time away. Because uh, I need to go back to Kuchihara <laughs> at night again. Um, so that that actually won't happen. I, I will go ahead and travel there in this in this particular part. <clears throat> but we won't have the next uh, event that occurs there occur until the following video. So this is uh, coming to an end here. And uh, thanks for watching these. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying them. If you have any questions about what's going on or, or any gameplay elements or details or whatever, uh, feel free to post them in a comment, send me a message, whatever you want to do. Uh, and I will get those answered for you. Um, because some of this can be a little confusing. And some of the, uh, the gameplay elements and as far as the combat and whatnot go. Uh, can be a little confusing as well. I've already had a couple people post post questions in the comments, so uh, don't you know? Feel free to do that, and uh, and I'll be happy to clear up any confusion that may exist. So it's nighttime now, which is what time it needed to be. We head back to Kuchihagara, and I uh, will see you in the next video.